very good morning to all the students of class plus 1b uh, we have been doing our literature and writing skills so revision is going on integrated grammar we haven't done first question is gap filling please note down this question i will be seeing your notebooks as well i hope the view of the board is clear to you all in case it is not visible you can tell me ab ab pura board visible hai so please note down and this exercise is actually on the basis of only models fine i'm giving you the options and i'll also tell you how to attempt it first is for option a you have shall should might and fourth one is can for b part ought should would and will for c part need dare must can and for d part need dare must and has so please do it as per your knowledge firstly do it and then i'll tell you how to do this so these are actually based on models only gap filling based on models it can be on the basis of prepositions tenses models or mix of all yes raman what is the answer of first we should not travel alone in a deserted place according to raman yes armanjot second ka again she says we should inform our parents about our plans yes correct jacqueline third must online children what is the answer of option c this dash help us to be safe yes can is the correct answer yes this can probability is there na that's why and last one any of you yes raghav correct answer can han ji beta has need yes in case you need to go to laga hua hai yahan pe yes correct answer arshpreet need is the correct answer now uh chances are there that we have done one exercise on the basis of models only clear please note down this exercise now i'll be telling you the uses of various models side by side so that it will be a revision you have done it in 9th and 10th in plus 1 we start overlooking this grammar and all but we should revise once at least clear now firstly uh, you know whenever i teach models i have categorized them categorize them in groups in pairs so that you remember it easily fine whenever we talk about moral obligations or moral duties fine we should inform our parents fine uh we should not travel alone this is our moral duty fine so what we should do what we should not do whenever moral duties moral obligations and specific rules will be there then we use should must ought to this is the first category okay please note down beta ग्रामर तो आप कर लेते हो बट यूज आपको पता होने चाहिए ओनली मॉडल्स वी आर रिवाइजिंग टूडे ओनली मॉडल्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस मॉडल्स क्लियर नाउ सेकेंड कैटेगरी दिस इज द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी 
whenever you talk about permission second category is permission fine then you use may can can i go out may i go to drink water fine yes you can yes you may so whenever we are seeking permission or giving permission then we use may and can third is ability when we talk about the ability i will write here the camera is not if you have noted down beta i am raising it so let's write the uses of various models now first two we have done third one is ability if there is ability of doing something or not then we use can i can speak three languages i can run very fast he cannot swim fine whenever we talk about ability of a person we use can this will help you in spoken english as well okay so models are very important these are particularly uh part of your writing skills as well fine and uh, in grammar also you will be using and in spoken english as well so next one is you know one model has multiple uses uh can we have done for ability yes now ability in the past ability in past then we use could past form of can i could run very fast when i was young but now you cannot do this okay so when we talk about the abilities of the past then we use could he could run very fast he could swim very fast at the age of 10 but now due to this he is not able to find in that way next is yes while making promises will shall or future actions while talking about future actions also we use will shall i shall call you tomorrow this is a promise or any future action fine i will definitely lend you money i will help you in your project anything can be there so when you talk about some future actions and promises and all sahaj kindly uh, please take this attendance i am trying to take the screenshot it's not working i guess some problem with the mouse you also note down okay sahaj yes beta future actions now when you talk about past habits we use would or used to these all are models when we talk about past habits or existence of something in the past but not in the present you are going somewhere you find there is there was a garden but now right now there is a shopping mall you you say to your mother that mama there used to be a garden here at this place there used to be but now it is a shopping mall fine so in that way past habits or any existence of the past but not in the present okay i would speak uh i would run very fast again i would eat a lot of chocolates when i was a child fine so past habits you are talking about would or used to both will uh, perform the same action okay both are equivalent in the while talking about the past habits okay 
can could will would shall should may might now yes seventh one next one is when there is while making a guess or when there is less possibility then you use might when you make a guess you went to hospital you're searching for the doctor a person in you can say uh, informal dress is walking and he is having stethoscope around his neck then you try to make a guess he might be the doctor but you use be along with might as well it might rain today suppose there are cloudy but not properly cloudy it is half clouded then you just make a guess less possibilities there when 50% chances it might rain today fine while making a guess might be use karoge and when there is less possibility only might clear online children as well aapko bhi clear hai beta now next is dare uh dare nahi iska pehle feature bataungi aapko to have courage write the meaning of this only dear means to have courage whenever you talk about such kind of thing that how dare you and dare you know used in interrogative sentences and negative sentences only this is one thing about this it is used either in interrogative or in negative i dare not go into the darkness i dare not stand in front of a dog not wala aa gaya how dare you touch my phone how dare you touch my bag fine so when you talk about interrogative sentences or you talk about negative sentences we can use dare into this it means to have courage how do you have that courage to do this i dare not talk to my father about the trip i dare not talk to my mother to ask for money anything how dare you ask for trip my dear son father is asking fine anything can be there i guess all the models basic models we have done anything left you can ask me any doubt is there you can ask me yes jacqueline clear ramanjit clear harmanjot is it clear online children can could the shall should the will good everything we have done but you need to revise it unless and until you just keep sitting you won't be able to make the sense of it and these things you think that why we are doing these things will help you in spoken english these thing will help you in your grammar skills as well and when you are writing something fine uh, you you are out of ideas okay which model to use and how to write it will help you in writing skills as well So this is very important part of English uh, structures or grammar structures. Fine. So models we have revised today in the form of one exercise. Fine. Actually, let's do uh, exercises based on. uh we have time enough to do one more exercise models we have revised because we are doing integrated grammar it means multiple things at a time okay models and exercise based on models we have done now let's do one editing one exercise on editing and omission can also be there but pehle hum editing karenge and it means to change 
I visit one passage. Please note down a suburban village. Suburban village. A dash. Now, what are you supposed to do? You will underline the wrong word, and you will write the correct answer in the blank. Okay. Last year, full stop. I am amazed to see. I am amazed to see B dash that people keep the surroundings. C dash clean. They are throwing the trash. D dash in dustbins. There is no garbage. T dash dumped anywhere. Full stop. I learn a lot. F dash during that trip, I still remembered it. Full stop G dash thus. Please do it. Online children, now you it's your turn. Offline children have given answers of last exercise. You will also solve, okay? But answers will be given by mainly online children now. Please make sure that you are noting down. If any problem is there, you can type in the chat box accordingly. In exam, if you get editing, do not copy paste the whole passage. Okay, you just write uh, incorrect word and correct word. Two columns banaoge aap. Incorrect word and correct word. Whatever incorrect word jo galat hai, wo ek list banalo. In place of that, what you have written, correct word uski list. Bas, pura passage copy nahi karna hai, to save the time. Solve it on the question paper first and then write it accordingly on the answer sheet. Jodhpreet has given first answer. Anybody can type in the chat box. So you will underline this. Visited. Yes. Correct answer. What else? Last year, uh, I visited a suburban village last year. Jodhpreet has given, but I want someone else now. Yes, Raghav, correct answer. Because this is the incident of the past. I was amazed to see. Yes, Arshpreet, correct. Next. Third sentence. Yes, Sesh, correct answer. Kept. Kept the surroundings clean. Next is 
Yes, Jodhpreet, correct answer. But I am seeking some other student. Arshpreet has also given correct answer, but I will not speak the answer. Yes, Anjali, correct answer. I want maximum student participation. They were because incident of the past. They were throwing the trash in dustbins. Next one, new student every time. Ishnur, yes. There was no garbage. Dumped anywhere. Next is. Next answer. Yes, Diksha, correct answer. I learned a lot. So you see this passage is written in mostly past tense. During that trip, I still remembered it. Learned Aiga Vansh, beta. Yes, Sahasprit, correct answer. Kiski turn nahi aai hai. Vaibhav has not answered. Harnoor, you give the answer of this. Last sentence, Naman Preet, you have also not responded. Yes, Jodh Preet, correct answer, beta. I'm waiting for the other students to answer this, those who have not answered. Yes, Jacqueline, according to you, what is the answer in this? Last sentence. Nahi pata, aapko? Hanji, aap? No. I still remember it. Means abhi bhi. Remembered nahi hota I still remember it. Yes, correct answer is this. Okay. So now in this passage, basically what you have to perceive that last year is word ne aapko clear kar diya that it is to be written in the past tense in the second form only. I visited, I was, I kept, uh, people kept, they were, there was, I learnt. But in the last sentence, still word is there. I still right now, fine, remember it. So it doesn't mean if the passage is in the past tense, all each and every sentence will be in the past. It depends upon the circumstance or the sentence, what is mentioned there. Okay, so that was very easy one. Fine, do not expect the easy ones in your exam. You will be getting difficulty level will be higher. Any doubt to anyone? How much time is left? Do we have the time? To do one more? 15 pe well hoegi? Uh, five minutes hai mare pas. We can do one uh, rearrangement. If I find only uh, two, three lines so that our integrated will be completed. We have five minutes. We will do one more exercise of rearrangement. Chaliye, bus only three uh, sentences I will give you. Yes, beta. Third exercise. We have five minutes to do this. So please do it fast. Third question is rearrange or rearrangement the phrases and side by side karte rena. Is the remarkable feature these words they have written together to abhi kathe use karoge. Preciousness Most of time, opportunities B part, only three I will give you, of golden, every moment, thousands,
brings with it last one slip away not allow we must time to such precious yes last is slip away not allow we must time to such precious please solve it as soon as possible within 2 minutes and give the answers to me jiska solve ho jayega they can type in the chat box or offline children can also speak you can raise your hand and speak as well Correct it. Yes, Ramanjit has given correct answer. Preciousness is the most remarkable feature of time. I repeat, preciousness is the most remarkable feature of time. Second answer. Jaldi se raise your hands. This is brainstorming session actually. Fine. So competitive may be other thought that he arrangement. Is any answer ni likha chat box me up the second sentence ka? Yes, correct answer. Only Ramanjit is giving the answer today. Well done. Every moment brings with it. thousands of golden opportunities every moment brings with it thousands of golden opportunities yes third one last one this is so very easy anybody from online children koi nahi answer de raha hai crack nahi ho raha aapse itna easy kar liya aapne Yes, Harmanjot. Correct answer. We must not allow such precious time to slip away. Yes, Jodhpreet. Correct answer. We must not allow such precious time to slip away. With this, we have completed our exercises, integrated exercises. I hope it is clear to you all.